I'm Mark Reed, Director of Maintenance at Abilene Arrow, and today we're talking about the Freon air conditioning in the Electric motor driven compressor. This is the inlet for the condenser. The outlet for the condenser. Inside of there is a motor with a fan on it. That motor has pulleys going to a compressor up there, and uh, so they're using as much as they can to draw the air through that condenser. Of course, when it gets in the air, the airflow alone will be enough that it wouldn't need the fan anymore, but you can't kick the fan out, so it's still pulling air as long as it's running in the air. This scoop here is simply for vent air. That's just what, if you didn't want the air conditioning or the pressurization on, this is where the air would enter the cabin uh, for that. Then inside it's got, a, uh, in the nose actually, it's got a, a evaporator. Under the floor of the nose is the evaporator. And this is the drain for that evaporator. Under the cowling, there's two hydraulic pumps on this engine piggybacked onto each other. One for the gear, one for the air conditioner. All the air conditioning components are under this. As far as the compressor and condenser go, it has a blower motor behind this panel right here. There's a hydraulic actuator. When you turn the air conditioning on, it closes a solenoid on a manifold on the, that's mounted to the hydraulic tank. Builds pressure, turns the air conditioning motor, activates this actuator, this door comes open, the condenser blower motor is behind that door, and it's drawing air through here, blowing it out the other side so that the condenser gets air flow, and then the hydraulic motors turn the compressor that's down there by the condenser, and then the evaporators are behind the two seats, and they just, you know, they, they, they provide, the, they circulate the cabin air to provide cool air for the cabin. So, another way to drive it, instead of having the engine drive it, or an electric motor drive it, they have a hydraulic motor drive it. See, that Cirrus has the, um, this Cirrus has factory air conditioning. So everything's the same except the evaporator's on this side and the condenser in the outlet. Basically where you don't even know they're there. They're, they're both right under here. And outlets on the, inlets on this side, outlets on that side. And it has a liquid motor to draw, draw that air through there. And it, you know, the factory, for whatever reason, decided that that was the way to do it, rather than the way the aftermarket had done it. No telling why they decided that. And uh, got it fixed. It went out and flew a little bit. And uh, stopped cooling again. So troubleshot it, looked at it. Pressures weren't running right, so we went after the expansion valve, changed the expansion valve, and got it working again. So everything's good. It goes out and runs a few more weeks, month, month or two maybe. And uh, the other day they fired it up to go on a trip and the air conditioner didn't work. So we get it back in the hangar and we looked at it and it had blown a hose on top of the compressor. Well, evidently the hose blew while the compressor was running and it locked the compressor up again. So we put another new compressor on it, two new hoses on it, and um, got it working again. So it, we just brought it back down here from having that done.